Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Where's my character? There he is. Alright, so today we're going to continue with this last quest that we stopped off on, which is Rider's Block. And after we do that, the next goal after that would be to... Get the hero that we want to get. Which is Sekiri. Oh god, I have to do more talking. Uh, excuse me, but would you happen to be Leanne? I would indeed. Can I help you? Wellwell told us that you're the person who wrote the Founder's Tale. Goodness! To think that our generation of Ouroboros would take an interest in my humble scribbles. Basically, we don't really get this whole novel thing. <laughs> of course, of course. It's only natural. I believe there isn't much in the way of pr printed storytelling outside the city, correct? Yes, I'd say so. Is it something like a diary? Hmm. Well, you're not entirely wrong in that I'm trying to recreate in detail the lives of the founders. But it's different from a real diary, because I've made most of it up. What do you mean, you made it up? Well, to put it simply, it's sort of all lies. What? You just pulled it out of your ass! Of course, I do strive to the best of my ability to make sure it hews close to the truth. There are so few documents and materials left in the city from the Founder's time. So regardless, I would always have had to weave guesses and interpretations into my work to fill the gaps. That said, it's probably time to lay down my pen. What do you mean? You don't want to write anymore? Imagination has its limits. I find I've come to the end of the line. I just don't know where I'd take the story from here. But you're mega popular, ain't you? Doesn't everyone love your novels? They do, which is why I've been hoping for inspiration to strike. Though, you could say inspiration really has dropped from the heavens right in front of me. Pardon? This is truly, this truly is serendipity. Would you mind helping me conquer my writer's block? Block. Today's just a new day, just a day for learning new concepts, I suppose. According to the records, the six founders traveled throughout the world looking for a new land. I've managed to pinpoint the exact locations they visited on their journey to help further my research. Unfortunately, I like the robust constitution to be a soldier. Would you visit those places in my stead? What exactly do you want us to look for? Hmm, let me see. If you happen upon anything that looks out of the ordinary, then you could bring it back. I'm trying to see if there's anything out there beyond the information we have in the records. What are the locations you'd like us to look at? The distant fingertip and the Dagon the Danag Desert in the Fornus region would be a good, great start. Then a couple of places in Pentelus, the ruins of Cebu, and the old cliff sideway. Finally, a place in Cadencia called the Eternal Canopy, and that should be all. So you're asking us to go to all those places? Seriously? Get all your hardships out of the way when you, while you're young. Once you get old, you can't do the fun stuff even if you want to. I can't hold anything much heavier than a pen these days. Curse this old body. We'll help you, and we'll report back if we find anything. Thank you. I'll be waiting to hear back from you, young folk. <clears throat> Good to add more names. All right. Uh. Okay, that's fantastic. It's not really going to tell me where to go, huh? Awesome. We should probably. Oh, great. Um. So one was in Fornis. Two, actually, no, just one. Nope, two. Uh... Oh, where was the closest place? Oh, no. It's here. So I've literally just been playing Twilight Princess all morning. I literally spent three hours getting from, like, the end of the Elden Caves to Lake Bed Temple and finishing Lake Bed Temple. My god.
I forgot how long the temples are in... In, uh... What is this game called? I'm, I'm brain farting. Hold on. Um... Shouldn't... Yeah, that's the one we're going for. The one that's right up there. Again, we're higher level than everything, so nothing's going to attack us. Ugh, oh, excuse me. Blah. Alright, so we gotta climb up all the way up to the top of this thing. So that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be like uh, climbing that ladder in Metal Gear 3. Man, I, I don't know how long it's been since I played a Metal Gear game now that I think about it. Because I played m pretty much every single game in the Metal Gear saga. Metal Gear 1, 2, 3, 4. I never finished 5. Then again, I never really liked 5 as much as I liked the other ones. Personally, 1 being my personal favorite. Even though I would probably get a lot of hate from, <laughs> from the Metal Gear community saying that the version of one that I played was actually, uh, the Twin Snakes version on the GameCube. Sure, the cutscenes are funky, but eh, it's still the same game. Plus, I don't, I don't find any real problem with it. And for God's sake, it's a series where there are friggin' cyborg ninjas. I never played Rising. Is it Revenge? Wait. Metal Gear Rising Revenge. Am I thinking? Okay, apparently I'm still. Dude, how long is this? Hello? Okay, I think we've officially found something that is a larger climb than the freaking ladder and snake here. Dude, what the heck? I'm still going! We're still going. I think. <laughs> you can tell I've been playing The Legend of Zelda because I turned around and hit ZL hoping the camera would just flip around. That's not how this game works! Oh, wow. Yeah, there's more climbing here. Well, alrighty then. Dude, seriously, how tall is this place? Anyway. So yeah, I've, I've never played... Well, I, I did play it, but I never beat Rising. Um, There's a lot of video game series I still haven't even, like, touched to this day. Although I do have experience with a lot of different series. Um, But, like, for example, never played Resident Evil. And again, I'm not a horror game guy, so I don't think I would enjoy that very much. Um, Silent Hill, I've never played again another horror game. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't played. I've never played a Devil May Cry game, I've never played a Bayonet again. Uh, but still, I, ha I have a lot of series that I've actually played. Oh, what the? Oh, for crying out loud! What are they doing here? Save it for later. Here they come. Right then, guess is what this is. What we're doing. Ugh. But, like, for example, I have played, um... I'm just gonna start naming series here. Obviously, I've played most of the Nintendo series. Um, I think the only one that I haven't really played for a very long time of Nintendo series is, like, uh, the Pikmin series. I've never beaten the Pikmin game. Um, but, like, Kid Icarus, Kid, Up Kid Icarus Uprising, great. That game is fantastic. Um, what's another game? Star Fox is great. Um, Zelda's always been great. Okay, uh, so we got one thing. 
grab this as well. See how close that other area is, or what is close to it. I guess this. No, uh, I think here probably. Um. We should take good care of that. I'm not a super huge fan of the Mario games, but then again, I'm not a super huge platformer. Galaxy was fun. Galaxy was fun in certain areas. You know, there, I, there were certain areas in Galaxy that were kind of annoying. Some areas that were just like, why did they make it like that? Um, AKA the final level, why is there not a checkpoint once you go. get to the lava park? Why is there no checkpoint there? Uh, what's another so Nintendo game series that is? What the heck was that? Um. Never seen this obviously, before. Xenoblade is fantastic. All three games are freaking great. Uh, Fire Emblem is a no, great series. A Although I, I do prefer the older games in Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, 7, 8. Shadows of Valentia is a remake. That one's really good. That one's my personal favorite. Um, other series that I've definitely played and liked. The Trial series, for the most part, I've only really like played one game, the Trial series, but I very much enjoyed it. And when I'm or well, I guess it's not the Trial series. I guess it's the Mana series. Now that I think about, because I always think of it as Trials of Mana. That game was really good, but I guess it is the Mana series. Because it's Trials of Mana, Secret of Mana. This be the first one was it didn't have a mana name. It was what well, Final Fantasy Adventure, I want to say. Or was it Final Fantasy Legend? I don't know. I've played the Tomb Raider remakes. I've played the first original Tomb Raider on the Xbox. Uh, Dragon Age, the Dragon Age series, was really good. I never really beat the first game, but I did enjoy Inquisition. Um, the Arkham series. Batman Arkham. Oh, that series is freaking amazing. Uh, I know a lot of people like City. I don't know why, but I personally prefer... Uh, I personally prefer... The... Ugh, what was I saying? I personally prefer Arkham Asylum. City was great too, but I personally prefer Arkham Asylum. Night was not very good. Um, and Origins, I liked Origins. Origins, I think, was my first one. Yeah, Origins 100% was my first one. Um, I, I got Origins first. And I beat Origins, and then I liked it, and then I bought, like... I don't want to say a DELUXE EDITION! Fantastic. Jesus, Noah. I have never heard him scream like that. Okay, then. Um... I got, like, a... Like, I guess what you call, call it a, a combo pack. It was, um... Or Asylum and City in the same thing. You know what? Another, another series? I haven't beaten a single game from Pokemon. Not a single one. This that's not even a joke. You go <laughs> that's, that's not a joke. Okay, so where the heck? Oh, it's here. Uh, I, yeah, I haven't beat, like, a single Pokemon game. I got close with Pokemon Red. I got, like, really close. The original Pokemon Red. Not even Fire Red. I got, like, really close. I was one gym leader away from fighting the Elite Four. And I just stopped playing it. I think that was because Xenoblade. Oh, my God. You know what? Let me just sit down real quick and clean up the clothes because they're starting to look a little dirty. Let's, let's also see if guys. we can get a level out of this. Can we? Nice. So 75. Ugh. And we still have two more DLC things that we gotta go through. I'm trying to, like, think now of how I'm gonna pull off the DLC. 
It'll probably just be a situation where, like, the DLC pops up. I mean, if it's gonna be, like, a one-episode DLC thing, I'll probably just do the one-episode DLC thing. But, like, when the DLC story comes out, that's gonna have to be, like, its own, like, Let's Play. It'll probably go, like, right in here with the rest of everything else. But it'll probably be, like, its own little separate Let's Play. Um... Is it down here? Huh. That container. Oh. Oh, come on, really? Here as well? Are they targeting us? Or perhaps... Who cares? Let's take them down. Alright, here's another fight. These freaking mech guys. Oh, that missed. Oh. Um... I don't even think I've, I've beaten like a... Like a like a side Pokemon game. Or like a spin-off Pokemon game. I don't think I've beaten a, a spin-off either. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I just think it's a situation where like I never really got into Pokemon. I've never really been a fan of how they do certain things in the Pokemon series. For example, how they do leveling. Like, here's an example, right? Here's what I mean by that. Uh, there's this game called World of Final Fantasy, where it is b literally basically just like a Pokemon clone, but with Final are. Fantasy characters, Let's be sure we don't right? Use it along the way. And that series did the idea of leveling up so freaking well that it isn't even funny. I think that's actually over here. Basically, all, all all of the uh, the 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 party members of the monsters that you have captured get like the same amount of EXP for every single fight, and it's not like split between them. It's just like a set amount of EXP for everyone, even if they're not fighting anything like that. Like I know some of the newer Pokemon games are like that, but even then, it feels like you're freaking leveling at a snail's pace. And that's also, like, another little situation I have, because, like, when you're trying to level up in Pokemon, you have to deal with a situation that leveling off of wild Pokemon takes a long time. It takes a while. Compared to, like, leveling up off of training trainer battles, which are, like, they can give you, like, a good amount of levels just from that, but then, then again, there's always a limited amount of trainers. Um... But yeah, that's my my major problem with Pokemon. Uh, like I started, I, I never really, I got when I was younger, I was very into the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. Um, and then something happened. I don't, I don't know. I've never really been good at like completing the Pokemon games or anything like that. Um, but like when it comes to like most other games. Usually, even if it's like an RPG for oh, me, really I'll, I'll play it like over the weekend us. and be done with it during the weekend. Like, I have been known to literally beat a game within two days. Um, Xenoblade Chron the Xenoblade Chronicles series took me a lot longer because all of these games are like 40 to 60 hours. Um, is it upstairs? Yes, it is. Um... But yeah, th this series definitely... This, the Xenoblade series was definitely, like... I started playing it, and ever since then, like... Never seen this I think that before. this series literally changed the way I perceive games. I would say so. I think this might be more than just a coincidence. Do you think they're after the same thing we are? <laughs> if that's true, then I guess we're onto something pretty good. Alright, let's do this. Like, I think it was after Chronicles and after Fire Emblem 
Which, fun fact, I got into both of them because of Smash Brothers. I really, like, my taste in games really started to change. Like, now I'm, I'm more in it for the story than anything else. Um... And, and use, like, I, I can't really deal with a game that doesn't have very good music. To me, story, music, and then gameplay. And then, at the very bottom of the list, is graphics. I, I could not care less about the graphics of a game. Like, I, I literally own, like... I spent, like, like, I own Twilight Princess HD, but I spent, like, a good amount of money trying to get the older versions of the game. Because, like, I don't care about the graphics. I really, really don't. I never, I didn't grow up with, like, a PS4 or an Xbox. Never really got into PC gaming. Like, the only game I ever played on my PC like, for a long, long time, other than, like, Overwatch, was freaking Final Fantasy VII that I bought off of Steam. You know? Like, the <laughs> Final Fantasy VII with the PlayStation 1 graphics. Yo, back. Did you find anything? Okay, so we're we found this, we found this, we found this, we found this, and we found this. Found all of that. Hmm, let me see. All we found was this junk. Sorry, couldn't get anything better. Not at all, not at all. This is wonderful. It's a better result than I could have hoped for. Really? I don't see anything here that has even the slightest connection to the Founders. No, you're right. None of this is related to the Founders. Ugh, are you joking? But these things don't exist in any of our records. They're completely unknown. They may not be associated with the Founders, but they have more worth than that alone. This has gotta be a wind-up. It's just a bunch of rubbish. Hey, do you think the Lemnuses that attacked us were looking for these? Oh, sounds like you've had a bit of adventure. Ah, uh, you've really piqued my interest. Just what are these? It's hard to even imagine they come from our time. Or even the Founders' time. Could they be even older? Yes, it's coming to me. What? Well, what's coming? My inspiration! It's all rushing back to me. The old grey matter hasn't failed me yet. You saved my work. Thank you. You're sure, you're sure this is fine? Of course. Now I'm sorry, but I must go. I want to put pen to paper while these ideas are still fresh. Wait, can we ask you one more question? What is it? Why did you decide to write about the Founders in the first place? Oh, that's a good question. Have you ever wondered about where you came from? What do you mean? This is just my own theory, but I think one of the most important things in life is knowing your origins. That's what I want the people of the city to know, or rather, to remember. Where we all came from, and where we're going, do you see? Anyway, I really must go now. I hope you enjoy the next book in the series. Man, talking about books now, I just like remember. I have not been enjoying the current books that I've been reading. I have not been having a nice time with them. Um. Anyway, I believe. No, not here. The upper region. Uh, so I think... I think... I think this is it. I don't want to say like I'm sure about it, but... Yeah, I think it is. Uh... uh -huh. Dude, my phone has been, like, being weird all day. Um, give me one second. Checking notes on where exactly the quest is. 
Yeah, okay. This is the right place. 100% the right place. It's gotta be this thing down here. Yep. No, I think about it. I don't even have to say that. It, it looks like it. I remember. You'll be nice and toasty. Ugh. Hmm. Wait, was it Senna that said walk by me and you'll be nice and toasty? I mean, I guess she does have the flyer hair, but. Does that mean she's, a, like, related to the obvious person that we all think she's wrong. related to? Bridget? Let's do this! Final hero, here we come! What's this now? Seriously! More of those mutters come to ruin our day again! Let's ruin theirs first! Right, let's do this. The illusion returns. Uh oh. I think they just gave me the side eye. Dude, like you seriously need to do like so many side quests just to get to this point. And this side quest I believe leads directly into the hero quest. Oh my god. Probably in my opinion the most like the hero that takes the longest to get. Well, I mean I guess not in my opinion, it's hacked. Unless we're talking about post-game heroes in which you need to beat the whole game to get. And then on top of that, you need to do... Like, for one specific post-game hero, you need to do, like... All of the... Like, a whole bunch of side quests. And all of the hero quests to get. So yeah, I guess. You consider it like that! Ugh. Okay, two more left. Alright. See if we can get a break. Nope, no. Nah. Somebody else broke him. That's good. And then A slash. One left. This one won't last very long. I mean, I'm not even gonna bring out a, like, Lucky 7, because this fight is already over, dude. It's over. And boom, and boom. Who is this girl? Where did she come from? For a soldier, she's awfully, um... Yeah, I know what you mean. She looks about three terms old. Way too young to be fighting on the front lines. Not to derail the convo, but are we sure she'll be okay? We pulled her out of the left, but is there anything else we can do? I don't see any external injuries. 
but no signs of waking up either. Hard to tell either way. Hmm. Senna, don't worry. She's still alive. I'm sure she'll pull through. Mimi, you sure? Look, we can talk about her all day, or we can find her a doctor. I know which one I'd prefer. All right. But she and her people did assault colony soldiers. So taking her to a colony seems like asking for trouble. Then how about the city? They have medical facilities there. Indeed. Seems advisable. What do we do about the Levness? Let's leave it for now. Transporting the girls should take priority. Um, I can carry her. Thanks, Anna. She'll be in good hands. Yeah, I'll make sure of it. And that's the start of the Inhumanity Hero Class. Ladies and gentlemen, the final main game hero before the final post game hero. <laughs> And then it'll be the final DLC here. Hi, Vey. Bloody thing never ends. Uh, okay, just go down very quickly and mark up everything. It's done, and then you gotta go back to the city. Wait, can I just not teleport directly to the city? Uh, I guess this one would be the closest. Oh, gosh. I'm staying a little bit slow here, right? As soon as I open the mouth, every freaking time. Hello? Hello? Oh, did I get too close to the question mark? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you all right? My chest kind of hurts to breathe. Wait a sec. Propeal. It, it looked like it's still hurting. Did it not work? If if odds aren't having any effect, we should bring her to the medical facility. The doctor will know what to do. Right. Man. Good to add more names. She's having a heart attack, more than likely. And that sucks. Ah, this again. Have you seen it before? Since the city was moved to location, the people have had to attune to a completely new environment. Patients keep being rushed in because their bodies are weakened by the change. Oh, hey Monica. Didn't realize there were so many patients. You seriously didn't expect this would happen? And obviously I understand that we had to move to avoid being wiped out by Mobius. But moving to a place a whole 2,000 metri below ground level? Okay, that's enough. I know the remedy. As long as we get the medicine, everyone will be right as rain. <laughs> wishful thinking. I'll send for extra medical supplies. Let us know what you need. I will, thank you. Right then. Doc, is there anything we can do to help? There is. If patients keep coming in at the current rate, we won't be able to provide enough medicine. Couldn't you gather some egg seeds and heavy pomegranates for me? You could find them in the Cadenzi region. Oh, and Recordi root. Recordori root as well. That's indigenous to Lavi Sandpa. If you could prepare 20 of each for me, Jesus. I think we'd have enough for a surplus of medicine. Okay, we'll be back with the goods as quick as you like. Sorry about this. Jeez. 
I'm not going on a freaking fetch quest right now. Doctor! Oh, it's you. It's got you in such a flurry. Here, let me tell you. Hmm. Well, it seems you simply temporarily lost consciousness. It's a roll to the blow to the head. Oh, so does that mean she'll be okay? Yes, it's a passing symptom. With a bit of rest, she should come awake naturally. Phew, that's a relief. Though she does, I'd like to keep her here for observation. Uh, wait, that's not really necessary. Seems like there might be a reason for your reluctance, hmm? No, it's just that she's, um, I heard... Oh, dear. And there's an empty house tucked away in a quiet corner of the city. I'll send word to let you use it. Doctor... The patient will be transferred there. The rest is up to you, hmm? I hope you find this agreeable. Uh, yes, thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. But uh, more than usual, I mean. If anything happens, you know where to find me. I'll take care now. I see some relations have changed. Okay. Talk with the doctor's aid. It's the next quest, or the next part of this quest, at least. Uh, where? Uh, uh, in here. Hello. Ah, you're here. About the girl we transferred here. She's just woken up. Whoa, really? Yeah. Although I should say, she's a little. Um. Were there any complications? No, nothing like that. Or at least, nothing to complain to you about. You're not making sense, and it's getting me antsy. The doctor said she didn't need any medical attention, and... You know what? Why don't you just talk to her yourself? Just bear in mind, she's still a patient, so take it easy on her, eh? Seems at least they kept her safe. But now what? Yeah. It ain't like we can just leave her here forever. Let's talk to her first, like he said. We should try to learn more. All right, but she's recently injured. We probably shouldn't all crowd her. You're right. If we're just asking questions, one person should be enough. That sounds like a plan. So who'll go? Surely it's Uni, right? She deals with injured people all the time. And she should be right at home. Oh, yeah? Cheers for volunteering me. I'll go. You, Senna. Why the sudden impulse? Well, it's probably my fault she's like this. It was really more like an accident, you know? There's no need for you to feel responsible. It's not that exactly. It's more like... If I don't do something, um... I... I'll have a dirty... Con... A con... A con... Science. You've never heard that word out loud, have you? Oh... Well then, we'll leave the girl to you. Is that alright, Senna? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do be careful, though. She might be meek now, but keep in mind, she and her mates came after us. We'll be right outside. If anything happens... I can handle myself, Mimi. I think. Okay then. I'm going in. Ah! Hmm. Uh, um, hi! I, I see you've woken up. Hmm. How are you feeling? Any pain? Can confirm faint sensation of pain in cranial region. However, operational efficiency of number seven remains unaffected. What? Uh, uh okay. That's good. Actually, I, um, I'd like to apologize. 
Before, I didn't realize you were inside that thing, and... Hmm... Um... Are you okay? No major issues detected. I... I see. Uh... Anyway, if it's alright with you, could you tell me something about yourself? The question lacks specificity. Number seven cannot respond. Oh, I'm really sorry. I, I guess that was a bit wishy-washy, huh? Well, for starters, then... Are you a Kavesi soldier, or are you Agnian? Kavis... Agnes... Yeah, that's right. You must know those, right? Affirmative. However, discrepancy was encountered while processing query. Huh? What do you mean? Affiliation of number seven does not match either of two options provided doesn't match. Well, then that only leaves... Special Mobile Combat Unit under Direct Mobius Command, alias Colony Zero. Whoa, you know about Mobius? Affirmative. Then, when you attacked us... Colony Zero soldiers of numbers seven and below were tasked with eradication of Ouroboros. Whoa, that's not great. So this girl really is our enemy. I have to warn the others. Although, is that really true? She did attack us, so why is she like this now? Um, what you just told me, it sounded really important. Won't you get in trouble for saying it? I was not ordered to silence on the matter. I... I see. Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Senna. What's yours? I have no name. Huh? Number seven does not possess information under the category name. You don't have a name? Wait, so this number seven thing you've been saying all along? An individual identification number assigned to soldiers of Colony Zero. We do not belong to Kevis or Agnes. We are special assets. Publicly, we do not exist. Consequently, records of personal information stored in growth modules are also expunged at the time of birth. That's crazy. Shall I consider the questioning to be over? No, wait! What you just said, you don't think it's strange? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Requesting additional clarification. I, I mean, for example, that name thing. A colony that calls people by a number, that's so dehumanizing. Don't you feel bad to be called like that? I mean, you're the same as us, after all. Cannot ascertain purpose of question. <sighs> oh. Requesting clarification. <sighs> Senna. Hey, you okay? Did you learn anything? Hang on, love. You don't look so good. What happened, Senna? Mimi, I... I... I don't know what to do. Hey, Senna. Everything's fine. Let's go somewhere we can talk. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. All right. Ugh. I'm starting to find it funny that literally, like, all of these quests are requesting me to freaking find it. Now I'm gonna find a campfire again. Oh, dude, where is that? I think it's over here. Oh, juice. Okay, it's right over here. Okay, yeah, got it. Like, seriously, a lot of these, like, some of these side quests have been, like, 
Hey, go talk about this. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Look there, man. I'm gonna have to do voice acting again. Please tell Where me. Where should no. I start? Please tell me I'm gonna do voice acting again. Colony Zero. Wow. They did seem like more than regular soldiers, but that's wild. If they're palling around with Mobius, we can't really ignore them, I suppose. We still have very little information. I think a more thorough investigation is in order. Okay, but we're talking about a tiny third term here. <sighs> Stella, what do you think? Huh? Where do I think about what? You're the one that spoke with her. What's your gut telling you? I just... I just asked questions and she just answered them. But... Even though she attacked us, she doesn't seem hostile or violent. And when I spoke to her, she was literally just answering questions. It didn't feel like a conversation at all. She looks like us, but is actually a whole different kind of being. That's how I felt. And then I got scared of her, and... Oh, I'm sorry, Senna. Senna, give us your honest opinion. Do you think she's an enemy? I don't really know yet. That's kind of why I... I'd like to try talking to her again, I think. What do you mean? You just said you were scared of her. I am, it's true, but I want to make sure I got the right idea, and that's stronger than my fear. Not just about if she's an enemy, but also about who she actually is, how she thinks and feels. Uh, I get it. You need a bit more time for that, sure. Right. I also want to say sorry for leaving without saying anything last time. Okay, then. If you're doing a house visit and apologizing at once, how about a little gift to grease the wheels? Oh, Sana, you could bring her your onigiri. Onigiri? It's a portable Agnian snack made of packed boiled mithrice. They're lovely and salty, especially the way Sana makes them. They really hit the spot after a long training session. Huh? You can make food? Oh, of course I can. Onigiri, at least. Oh, wait. But we don't have any mithrice. They should have decent reserves in Colony Lambda. Hey, nice. No, hang on. How do you know that off the top of your head? Commander Izzard likes them. The Onigiri. Well, that's just peachy then. Hope he doesn't mind sharing. Thanks, you guys. Bro, really? <laughs> I had to teleport all the way over to Colony Lambda for freaking Mithrice? Really? There isn't a place in the city that sells it? Come on! They don't have a grocery store, so... <laughs> Dude, they, they, wait. Let, let's be serious here for a second. They have to have a grocery store in the city, right? Like, they, like they have to have, like, something similar to a grocery store. And they have to have, like, rice and, like, wait, like, hold on a second. What do they eat? Now that I think about it, most people aren't allowed outside of the city. Unless they're soldiers. So th does that mean that they have to, like, specifically train, like, foraging soldiers to just go out and get stuff? You want myth rice? Sure, I don't mind. Feel free to grab some if you like. They're close to the, they're, we're close to the water here, so the harvest always good quality. Huh? I never knew. If you ever need more, just holler at your boy. Now we only need a place to cook. They taste best when well, they taste best when they're fresh. So maybe we could use the canteen in the city. Come on, now I gotta chill for a freaking canteen. Come on, man. I'm not even sure how long this episode is gonna be, but we're gonna try and do the freaking hero quest. Whoop de doo! It might be an hour and thirty. Hi, V. Dude, today I also found out there's like when I was playing um, Twilight Princess, the uh, the 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 battery life on a Wii U is like 
two hours max. Come on, stop it. Man, I haven't made onigiri in a minute. Hope I can still shape them right. Ah, uh, that's nice. Now, let's take them to our patient. Right. Is there another teleport near here? Where am I? Uh, I just walk. I think there was a bridge here. Yep. Nope. Uh, right here. Huh. All right. So yeah, the, the Wii U battery life is like really just like. Come on, man. When I record like Twilight Princess, that is gonna be a wow. It's not gonna be fun because I have to put it to charge every single time, and I need to like I don't have like the the stand that the Wii U used to go on to charge it. I have like a regular cord, so. Senna, wait. This time around, we'd like to sit in on the conversation too. Huh? But I thought. No worries. We'll hang back and watch. We're happy to let you do the talking. Uh, okay then, if you say so. Hey, sorry to intrude. Can we have a moment? No objections. You wish to resume questioning? No, that's not why I'm here. It's just that last time, I was kind of rude. So, to apologize, I thought I'd visit again and bring you a little something. <gasps> I figured you might be hungry. They're called onigiri? Yes. I'm not very good at this, so they're about the only thing I can make. Yes. But I can guarantee they're tasty. And actually, Mimi says so too. Uh, Mimi, I, I mean Mio, she's... Yes. Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, please, uh, feel free to eat. I will eat. How about it then? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Are they tasty? Did I make them right? With regard to first question, number seven, comforter, tasty to be accurate, assessment. Oh, r really? That's good to hear. In regard to second, application of manual pressure resulting in compaction and prior cohesion, also showing excess salt level. Oh, uh, no wait, that's the best part. Isn't it nice and chewy? Oh. Affirmative. Huh? Number seven has not taken sustenance in this form before. Currently considering that others of Colony Zero may also enjoy the experience. Oh. You think so? Particularly number nine seem to be growing disaffected with the rations being distributed. And number three, whose calorie intake exceeds the baseline, may find these more sating. As a precaution, salt levels may have to be marginally adjusted pursuant to guidance from number six. Huh. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, no, it's nothing. Oh, but if it's okay with you, could I ask you to tell me more? Acknowledged. Continuing explanation. the onigiri tasty? You already have a sufficient reply to this question. Have you come to like the onigiri I made? Affirmative. Well, that's good then. I'll make them for you again sometime. Yes. Well, she eats like normal, and she can handle small talk. Yeah, there's nothing suspicious about her. Except she talks funny, but whatever. Let's let Santa keep her talking for a bit longer. Hey, you said you didn't have a name. Recollection of making such a statement exists. 
Well, then, what about Sagiri? Hmm. Uh, perhaps this is some sort of code or cipher. No, I'm just... I was asking what you thought about Sagiri for a name. Cannot follow logic behind query. Requesting more rational explanation. You're using difficult words again. I, I just didn't want to keep only calling you you. The designation number seven is... Right. I, I just took the set part from seven and, and tacked on the giri from onigiri. Sagiri. Failure to comprehend basis for utilizing this nomenclature. Well, it's because... You said you liked onigiri just then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Senna, don't you think you're taking it a bit far? Yeah, love. Did you lose your brain at the gym or something? I'm sorry, Senna. I don't think I see what you're after here. Whoa, when did everyone get so mean? I think it's a great name, Sagiri. You... Yeah, I think so too, actually. It seems really, uh... Um, friendly, somehow. <laughs> It's not really like you to come out with something like this, Senna. Really? Well, maybe so. But Mimi, I don't think it's right to call a person by a number. Hmm. Hey, I'm sorry. I let my mouth run away from me. I understand if you felt hurt by it. Regulations contain no special provisions on restricting designation. Huh? Number seven has no authority based on which to reject proposed designations, whatever they may be. Does that mean we can call you Sagiri and you won't mind? Affirmative. Well, there you have it then. Affirmative. <laughs> Nicely done, Senna. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> The girl might still be a total mystery, but really, it wouldn't have been right to call her number seven. <gasps> what happened? A coded transmission from Colony Zero. The Mobius Consul F is requesting parlay with Ouroboros. The Mobius is requesting what? Number seven will use own iris as relay to forward the transmission to you. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my young Ouroboros friends. I am F, and before we go further, I would like to sincerely apologize for the discourtesy of this method of introduction. Ugh, what a shameless slug. Things will forget he tried to kill us. You say you want to parley. How do you imagine that will go at this point? I'm certain you will feel guarded, and rightly so. And yet with that acknowledged, I would like to offer an opening of negotiations with you. Negotiations? Should you accept my invitation, I will rescind the extermination order on you, Ouroboros. Colony Zero will henceforth no longer concern itself with your comings and goings. Oh, that'd be swell! If we were stupid enough to trust your word. And your demands? The bodily return of number seven. Huh? And that's it? That's all it would take for you to never fight with us again. Yes, you have my guarantee, and that of the whole of Colony Zero. Are you joking? You're Mobius. You'd throw away one or two soldiers without batting an eye. Certainly some consuls do display such callousness, a deplorable state of affairs. But not I. I hold the light of life possessed by Colony Zero to be of the utmost importance. Naturally, that includes number seven. That is precisely why I have reached out to you, nominally my enemies, even with the concomitant difficulties acknowledged. Are you telling the truth? Come on, Senna, don't fall for it. Can you give us a guarantee that you aren't lying to us right now? Of course. 
is what I'd love to say, but naturally, simple words are never enough to engender trust. I have sent the current coordinates of Colony Zero to number seven. We shall remain here. Should you find yourselves receptive to my offer, do please pay us a visit and bring number seven with you. So you think giving us your location will make us trust you? How do we know this isn't a trap? In such a circumstance, you would possess a handy hostage in number seven. I trust I needn't say more. Ugh. Does this guy hurt the way he sounds? Of course, that is not what any of us really want. My desire is to see number seven. Number seven? Yes? I am tasking you with guiding them to Colony Zero. Follow their command until you return. Compliance. And number seven? Yes? We've all been worried about you. Hmm. That will be all. I will eagerly anticipate the day when we meet in more favorable circumstances. By the Consul's authority, Number 7 is hereby assigned to the Ouroboros' command as an exceptional measure for the duration. Pending your decision on the outcome of the proposed exchange, I await your command to depart. Well, this was... unexpected. Scary. What do we do with you? Pending your decision on the outcome of proposed exchange, I await your command to depart. <sighs> Let's go! <laughs> We're Wait, over an hour! Are you serious? You really trust that console? Of course I don't. Not entirely. I know it could be a trap as well, but still. If, and this is a big if, okay, if he was telling the truth earlier, then we won't have to fight with Sigiri and her friends. And more importantly, I'm sure there are people waiting for her there. So, for all those reasons, I thought... Well, either way, things can't stay like this forever. Rather than make speculation after speculation and do nothing, you want to set something in motion. It's also possible, if unlikely, that we might be able to talk it through. All right. Can you tell us where Colony Zero is right now? Atia region, Capricorn Peak. Huh? Oh, wait, isn't that... That's where we fought against those guys, ain't it? The point where Colony Zero is stationed is located even further in. That explains why you were lying in wait for us there. However, the geographical feature called the Nauclea Mire is located en route. Entering it is predicted to have severe negative impact on your biological processes. Then how do you guys get through? A Ferron's environmental hazard resistance can temporarily neutralize poisonous materials. What's a Ferron? Oh, is that the thing you were writing inside? Affirmative. Consequently, traversal through the afflicted area will necessitate retrieval and refurbishing of the abandoned Ferron suit. We can ask Riku to fix it up. Will that be okay with you? No objections. Oh, if Riku must, we'll not leave friends in lurch. All right then. Just be patient for us a little while longer, okay, Sigiri? Compliance. All right, up to your region. Here we go. Travel right back to where we started. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's go. Come on. I'll be 100% honest. I don't remember the rest of this. I don't remember the rest of the side quest. Not at all, dude. Not at all. Oh, my gosh. Gonna keep on walking over here. Make sure they don't notice us. Just keep on walking. Alright. So I think it's just like that, like getting to this location, walking a little bit more, and then it's a fight, and then we're done with the quest.
But of course, there's cutscenes and stuff in between, so who knows how long it'll actually take. How does it look, Riku? Can you get it in working order? It looked like problem mostly cosmetic. Riku have it working in no time flat. And ready. Riku proud of own handiwork. And how does it look to you? Can you still use it? Power lines clear. All sensors online. Baron unit number seven, fully operational. That sounds good. Are you ready to guide us? Understood. Designating route. Okay, so basically now we can walk in poisonous stuff. Like that uh, poisonous, I don't want to say water, but poisonous lake, swamp thing. Now that I say poison swamp, I just reminded myself of Dark Souls, that's just great. Um, anyway, that poison like swamp thing at the bottom of uh, Mac the Wildwood. I almost said Mac the Forest. Environmental resistance field Okay. Hazardous elements will be neutralized. Yeah, so now we just basically just walk right good. on through here. Not dealing with you. I am, like, multiple levels higher than you. Goodbye. I am already over an hour. Goodbye. Welcome, friends. I've been hoping you would come. We've brought your soldier as you asked. So what now? Hmm. Number seven seems uninjured. Thank you for this magnanimous measure. As promised, Colony Zero's order to eradicate Ouroboros will be rescinded. You have my word that we will never again darken your doorsteps, figuratively speaking. <laughs> Talk is cheap, man. Oh, I assure you, the soldiers of Colony Zero are most faithful. They would never disobey an issued order. What's more, I personally have nothing but the deepest respect for you all. After all, you did tend to my dear number seven and brought her back to me unscathed. I offer you my sincere, heartfelt thanks. Yeah, all right. This doesn't sit right with me. Oh, I've just had the greatest idea. Number seven, you and our guests have traveled long and far to arrive here. Why don't we introduce them to the rest of the Colony Zero personnel? Compliance. Uh, I think we're actually fine. Nonsense, no need to be shy. We need to tie a bond of trust between us, and where better to start than with a round of introductions? Sagiri, are you alright with that? The Consul's word is absolute. Number 7 does not have the prerogative of choice. Number 7, show your face to everyone. I'm sure they'd like that. Number 4 has also been worried about you. Yes. Number 4? Number 4 is Number 7's right-hand man. With Number 7 absent, he had to take over the reins instead. He means like being an aide, then. Sagiri, does that make you the commander? Parts of the definition appear discrepant, but on the whole, there are no major issues with that denomination. You could have told us, you know. I have no record of the fact being queried. You noticed it too, right, Tyon? Yeah, and I can't make sense of it. The Consul's attitude is one thing, more importantly, the Pharaonis. The one thing a colony needs, and there's no sign of it here. Well, maybe. Maybe it's just something completely different from the colonies we know. A special unit under direct Mobius command. Were we too hasty coming here? For Senna's sake. And for that girl she trusts, let's hope not. Oh! 
All right. Uh, so we gotta talk with everybody here. So you're really back, Aang number seven. When the report came, I didn't believe what I was hearing. In any case, number four is the one to worry about. He's been acting strange. We should go and talk to him, number seven. More colonies added. Number seven. Oh, what a relief. I'm so glad you're alive. Number eight and number ten have been worried too, but they're both on a mission right now. But they'll be happy to hear once they're back. But what are we going to do now? Nobody's heard anything about a new mission. Number seven. Hey, what's all this mean? Why are, they, why are you hanging around with the enemy? Has the eradication order really been revoked? Oh, I'm sorry. I know there's some no point asking. The orders come from the council anyway. I'll be sure to follow suit for now, but if anything happens, you know I'll protect you at all costs. Good to add more names. Number seven. I'm relieved to see you back safe. Number four. No status abnormalities? We're all good here. Number 10 and number 8 are currently on a mission, but should be back soon. Revising query. Are there status abnormalities in number 4's condition? Uh, no. I'm okay. Number 4 can still fight. However... Number 7, you're not at fault. If anything, it's my fault. Having such poor abilities in battle. Without disengaging the Ferran's limiter, I, I couldn't fight prop. <gasps> Number four. What's wrong? What is it? Sparks, you don't think this is his flames leaking? I'm cold. Number seven? Where? I can't see a thing. Number four has given his life to the Pharaoh. Oi, you better explain yourself. The Pharaohs are powered by life's flames. The flame clocks that impel them are synchronized to those of their passengers. Wait, did you say flame clocks? Does that make the Pharaohs? Indeed. The design differs, but you could see them as functionally identical to Pharaonesis. In addition, Pharaon flame clocks are fitted with the function to disengage the limiters. Disengage the limiters? Doing so allows the Pharaon to burn through the flames that fuel it at an accelerated rate, maximizing the unit's power output. Once the limiter is disengaged, a first-term soldier can perform at a level comparable to a colony's commander. That incandescent power is the pith and marrow of the Ferrons, of Colony Zero's might. But what is Colony Zero to begin with? Who are you? Who are its soldiers? You could say we are those who work behind the scenes of this war. Battlefield manipulation, inciting sedition, information control, elimination of third-party forces. It's all due to our ceaseless, thankless efforts that this war can continue unabated, and each life's fate arrives as ordained. In other words, we maintain the fabric of the world. That is the duty which is our pleasure to fulfill. Nothing but empty words. That's the reason you put your men in those things. 
Well, mate, you just showed us your whole ass. I knew you didn't care about the lives of your soldiers after all. Preposterous! I treasure their lives above any other good. They are to me the most exalted substance. Their immaculate lives, sacrificed in service to the world, permeated and formed the basis of the eternity we Mobius covet. Stop it. Protecting my innocent lambs whose souls lubricate the gears of the world through a sublime sacrifice. That is the highest calling. Isn't it the loftiest vocation conceivable? Surely you must agree. Shut up already! I, I must beg your pardon. Have I said something to incur your displeasure? Snuff all of that and snuff you! How dare you! How could someone like you think for a second you treasure Sagiri? You have no right! We'll bring you down right here and now. Sagiri and everyone will be free from the flame clocks. But what in the blazes has brought this on? I told you from the start, I had no intention of fighting you. Have you lost your mind? Well, it seems unavoidable now. It seems the negotiations have broken down. Truly regrettable, and yet perhaps inevitable. Old Baron units, heed my call. You are ordered to disengage your limiters. <gasps> Number seven, your orders. Bring all your might to bear and crush the Ouroboros! Sagiri, listen! You don't... Compliance. Commencing Ouroboros Annihilation. Sagiri. I know how you must feel, but for now we have to fight, Senna. All units fall in and stand by. What's this? Consul, a report. What's the matter, number seven? Large expenditure of life's flames is forecast if limiters are disengaged for combat. Proposal following analysis of all units' flame totals. Restrict limiter disengagement to unit number seven. I see. What? What's she doing? She's trying to get her mates out of fighting. <laughs> Number seven. I recognize your unparalleled radiance. It brings you honor. Now behold, by my authority as consul, I order you. All Ferron units disengage limiters. <laughs> he couldn't go lower oh number seven truly you are a marvel the cry wafting from your spirit it will water this endless world and make it bloom eternal first off let's deal with these guys yeah just wait Sigiri. we'll get you out of this mess i promise all right so I guess let's just do this as quickly as possible. Not that it's gonna take too long because we are higher level than them. By about 20 levels. 21 to be exact. This fight will be over as soon as I get Lucky 7 out. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, come on. Ugh. 
Dude, if Nose Clash was like an Agni class, it would be so broken though. Like, that's not even a joke. Oh, dang. It's just a cluster. I can't even see anything there anymore. I just see a whole bunch of freaking bodies. Just, it's honestly, what the heck happened, Uni? Dang it. Oh my gosh. Almost have Lucky 7. Come on. One use of Lucky 7 and everyone's going down. Oh. Alright, see ya. in front of the man, back. Alright. And do it again. And let's just finish this. Huh? Goodbye! Changing your orders. Kill that Uroboros first. Top priority. Ugh. Comply it. Don't, Don't do, do it, Sagiri! That's an order, number seven. <laughs> number seven. What are you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Impossible! Number. Sagiri! Are you okay? Please talk to me, Sagiri! Uh, number... With the Consul's death in the line of duty, Colony Zero's chain of command is broken. Number 7 currently has no duties to perform, and that means you don't have to fight us anymore. However, it is a matter of record that Number 7 took hostile action against Ouroboros. Perhaps you wish to mete out an appropriate punishment. Sagiri, you did nothing wrong. Really, we should be thanking you. Thanking? Why would that be? I mean, before, you attacked the console instead of us. So you held back from fighting us and 
Thanks to that, we were able to take down the console. Hmm. Anyway, that's enough about that. Now it's time to think to the future, right? I cannot comprehend. Huh? Why do you speak to number seven that way? Under... Why did number seven disobey orders? Why did I not attack you as instructed? Requesting swift reply. Furthermore, requesting orders. Sagiri... Number seven is confused. I do not know what actions to take. I know what it's like to feel lost, uncertain, not know where to turn. But even you must have some things you think you'd really like to do, right? Number seven does not have thoughts matching that description. In that case, let's put our heads together. Let's think of things you might want to do. Is that an order? Nuh uh. Nobody's giving you orders anymore. From now on, Sagiri, the only orders you should follow are your own. <gasps> the situation described does not conform to the accepted definition of orders. I. It was just like a metaphor, or. Or was it a simile? I. Really cannot comprehend. Uh. But although I cannot comprehend, Sagiri gives orders to number seven. If the circumstances be interpreted this way, then Sagiri, I, may be able to comprehend. Oh, uh, Sagiri. Is it odd? No, I don't think so. I'm sure it's exactly right. Since, after all, you're free now. So, Sagiri, what are your orders for number seven? Top priority should be to investigate what it is that I want to do. More data must be gathered before this is ascertained. <laughs> that sounds very like you, but I think you're making it too complicated. It doesn't have to be just one thing, and it can be anything, really. It can be anything? Yep. Anything at all. In that case... Yes? Did you think of something? Right now, I think I'd like... one of your onigiri, Senna. By the way, I wanted to ask about the Pharaoh. I suppose there's no way to use them anymore. That statement is incorrect. Oh, really? Motive function can be restored by switching to alternative power source using ether cylinders. Power output will be inferior to the original flame clock system, and the limiter can't be removed, but shouldn't hinder combat. I will be able to fight on. Wow. Th that's great news. Understood. Pharaon Unit Number 7 will gladly join Ouroboros Battle Unit. We'll be counting on you then, Sagiri. Alright. So that's the final main game hero. Ouroboros I actually don't even know who gets I think it's gotta be Senna, right? Yeah. Alright. So that will be it for today. It's another attack class, yeah. Oh, we ranked up. Nice. Let's talk about all the stuff you might want to do in the future. Affirmative. No stop interrupting me. Okay. That's it for today, everyone. If you enjoyed, please share, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3.